Boo Birds are going to be out in full for, in full force on Sunday Night Football. Will be humiliating for Kyle and Jimmy when Chris Collinsworth, Collinsworth makes a big deal of it. Whew. Fortunately for the Niners, the Colts aren't that good. Carson Wentz, I mean, can Jimmy beat Carson Wentz? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. It's a good point. But what could happen is Jimmy Garoppolo starts, the Niners win, and for another week everyone says, well, they could be 6-0. and They could be 6-0 and right now. That's what we'll hear. How did your strategy session with Jed go? Well, that was kind of it right now. I was just kind of laying it out right now. But I think Jed and I, I think I'm on the same page with Jed. I think I'm I'm reading, I'm picking up with Jay's with Jed's laying down, and I like it. No play action. He's collecting a paycheck. Yeah. Awfully strange things that make you go hmm or maybe he's just having a bad stretch of games just like players do sometimes i don't think this is dire but i also don't think he has been good at all also free brandon Ayuk. yeah maybe it'd be a nice time look bye week kyle shanahan figure out why you've been so bad and then be better let's see he's got two weeks to be better usually good offensive coaches figure it out over the bye week right andy reed always does isn't Andy Reid like undefeated after bye week stuff like that he's just outrageously effective after bye weeks kyle Let's see what you can do with two weeks to figure it out. Clemson offensive coordinator or Dabo Swinney, the next man up, if the team doesn't generate wins enough this year. Interesting names. Interesting names. Uh, put put him on the radar. I don't, have, I don't have an opinion on Dabo. His name is Dabo, though. I have an opinion on that. No, I don't. Hold the phone. Okay. Shanahan has no one to blame but his damn self. Yeah. I like that, Ollie. His damn self. Kyle sabotaged Trey. Running backs have only 10 carries. Jed, what do you think, Jed? Do you think it was sabotage? I'm not, I don't know. Jed, what do you think? Ask Shanny why he doesn't counsel Lance others like Andy Reid and Sean Payton does to help their quarterback learn and succeed. He'd say, oh, I do. I do that all the time. You mean by no means am I perfect? I see so many banana hands in there. It's hilarious to me. His legacy is that people are going to know him as banana hands the rest of his life. Benjamin and Sanu in over, in over Sherfield and Jennings. Uh, and Banks has to be better than Brunskill and McGlinchey. Yeah. Benjamin in the game. I, what is that sabotage? What is that? All of a sudden, Benjamin is better than Trav than uh, Trent Sherfield? What, 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 what? I don't get it. I don't think your question to Shani about the playoffs was necessary at this time. He's not going to give a straight answer to. Would have been funny to mention RG3 in there. If Trey gets big injury, I'll stop watching football. I don't know. I mean, this is a team that went to the Super Bowl last year. They were talking about Super Bowl aspirations at their state of the uh, at the uh, state of the franchise. They brought up 2019 vibes without asking the last few months. And now I say, well, what about the playoffs? Are you confident you're going to make the playoffs and that's off limits? I don't know, man. He could just say, because, you know, I'm really confident in the players I have in this team. These, 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 these guys have championship pedigree. These are NFC champions. We have Fred Warner on this team. We have Trent Williams on this freaking team. Debo Samuel. I believe in these guys. No, I didn't say that. What makes you, I'm, just, I'm just trying to beat the Colts. Kyle Shanahan is relentlessly uninspiring. His players are looking for a spark, and they hear that. They're like, that's what we needed. One game at a time. Not quite convinced we're going to the playoffs. Let's go. I'm ready to run through a wall for this coach. The most uninspiring coach. Relentlessly uninspiring. But it's okay because his offense is so good. It makes up for it. That's why they score five points on average in the first half of games since week one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Was Kyle's middle finger focused on Jed last week? I don't know, Justin, man. Strange things are afoot in Santa Clara. Strange things are afoot. It's been proven that banana hands cannot handle the head coach responsibilities. It's now an average offensive coordinator. Jed needs the backbone like Uncle Eddie. Trade away. Thank you. Trade this dude to someone who doesn't get it. Mark Davis? Someone who cuts his, ha his own hair with a bowl. Mark Davis? Gruden won a Super Bowl with Dungies, yes? Yes. Yes. It's true. 
Trade banana hands to Jacksonville. Feed him to Balky. <gasps> Wouldn't you love to have Balky and Kyle Shanahan working together? Oh, my God. They so deserve each other. They so deserve each other. I want that to happen. I like it. Trade Kyle Shanahan to Jacksonville. So he's sentenced to five years or whatever working with Trent freaking Balky. Man, that's just, that would just be poetic justice. I love that. <clears throat> is Kyle freaking serious? Everybody can see through his lies. What the F, Jimmy, is a garbage can. Trey is the real deal. What a regressing season for us. Hot seat. Hot seat. We need Bill's offensive coordinator. That's Brian Dayball. Yeah, he's doing a great job with uh, the quarterback that everyone compared Trey Lance to coming out of college. It's a good, good name. Keep Shanahan and just hire Peyton Manning as a quarterback coach. We are guaranteed 14 wins a season. Why would Peyton Manning want to work that hard? Move to Santa Clara? Quarterback coaches don't make that much. There's no way he'd want to do that. Plus, they have Rich Scangarello, who's the best quarterback coach in the league. You didn't know that? <clears throat> Clean house and get the Bills assistant GM or head coach, head of scouting. Bills are good and have been very healthy. See, that's interesting. I like that, too. Got to look at the I, – I, I want to see who is the general manager you're going to hire. Bill, Bills are a good organization. That's one to look for. Good job, Keldon. Cam Newton? What, for quarterback coach? <laughs> Kyle can look in the mirror and blame himself. You don't keep your running backs on the bench and only use them 10 times in a rookie's first game. Just absolute coaching failure and balanced attack. Yeah, agree. So does he suck now? Or is he mailing it in? I did say, I've, I've said for a while that Kyle Shanahan is the most self-destructive coach I've ever seen. Is this self-sabotage? Is this team sabotage? Or is he just not good anymore? Hard to say. I'm just going to go with he's just not that good anymore. Because either way, it doesn't matter what the answer is. Either way, you got to get rid of him. Right? It doesn't matter. If it's self-sabotage, if he's just this bad, either way he's got to go. Unless he finds a way to, unless he finds answers this, this bye week. Let's give him that. We'll give him one more week and then we'll trade him. One more week. That's fair. That's, that's patient. Grant, Kyle's mad they outed him about Brady. Interesting. Although he's been coaching poorly since before then. But that's very interesting. Very interesting. All right. All right. Um, That's the show. I guess a little shorter when it's just me. Oh, hold on. Kyle got Lance hurt, period. Sick of Kyle. Everyone said, hey, man, uh, <clears throat> you keep using Kyle, you keep using Lance like that, you might get hurt. I mean, I liked what he did against the, the Cardinals, but it's a little risky, right? You, you can't keep doing that. He got hurt, apparently. We don't know when, though. I don't know. It just seemed like there's no reason not to call more handoffs to running backs when they're working. Why would you not do that? You do it for Jimmy. I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? Tanner says, trade Kittle for a first. Trade Kyle for a first. Let D'Amico inspire this team. Then draft the cornerback and a guard. I like it. I like it. Make D, make D'Amico the interim coach the rest of the year. I like it. We need a leader of men, not just a good play caller. We need a gunner sergeant who can lead our faithful into battle, not just a guy who can build great runs. See, to me, you could say that, like, like Kyle Shanahan usually is a better offensive coordinator than Greg Roman, usually, although not this year. Um, but what Harbaugh had was he had a good coordinator and he was a leader. They had it all. Kyle just has his scheme. There's no leadership. All the leadership comes from the defensive coordinator every year. And Kyle, I mean, the, the phrase leader of men, that was a Harbaugh phrase. Leader of men. I don't think Kyle is one. I don't think he's a leader of children. I don't think he's a leader. I don't think he's a leader of anyone. Why didn't we draft the cornerback earlier? Because I told him to and they don't do things I say. They haven't drafted a cornerback before round three. Since 2002 or four. Grant, watch out for Michael Miller. He did Jesse. Oh, it was Michael Miller? Really? You sure? Yikes. That's scary. Okay. Uh, would you trade Ayuk? I think we could st still get a second or third for him. Trade him now if Kyle doesn't like before he only worth peanuts like Pettis. I'd rather trade Kyle than Ayuk. I like Ayuk. I think Ayuk, Ayuk just needs a, a coach who's... um willing to play young guys and isn't uh, doing everything possible to just hold on to his job for one more year. Sanu over Ayuk, that's that's a fireball offense right there. There's more, though. I didn't even make this point. So 
forget Jimmy over Lance. That just doesn't make any freaking sense after you traded up for Lance. But Ayuk over I mean, uh, Sanu over Ayuk. Josh Norman over Diamondor Lenore. Why? What is Josh Norman doing? D Dre Kirkpatrick over Diamondor Lenore. Lenore is a promising rookie who played well in camp and could use playing time, especially since you are not going to the Super Bowl. But no, they're playing Josh Norman and Dre Kirkpatrick, two vets off the street who have no future with the team. They're not going to be in the team next year. Kyle is playing a bunch of people who aren't going to be on the team next year because maybe he won't be on the team next year. No commitment to people who actually are going to be on the freaking team next year. It's just him and a bunch of guys on one-year deals doing their thing. Shannon doesn't like dual-threat quarterbacks. They drafted Kirk Cousins in the same draft as RG3. What a confidence booster to RG3. Agree. Agree. Kyle wants people to execute his offense, not to go off script. What else can you go and have uh, – where else can you go and have one winning season out of five and it's acceptable? I guess the Niners. Stop it, fans. Trade him. Thanks, Grant. Yeah, I'm with you, T-Breezy. It's time. Lance is hurt. Just an excuse to go back to Jimmy. Can't believe Kyle about anything. Whew. Can't wait to actually talk to Trey Lance. So when did you get hurt? How bad is it? I'd like to hear someone besides Garoppolo. Excuse me. Besides uh, Shanahan talk about this injury. Man. A little frazzled. Kyle always dialed it up for Mullins and Beathard. And this was the best he could do for Lance. Sad. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's really weird to see uh, Kyle Shanahan fall apart so spectacularly. I think fans get it. I think you, I think Niner fans are very astute. One thing that gets me about you guys is in the off season, you always fall for the hype and the hope, but I guess part of being a fan. Once things go bad in the season, Niner fans are all over it. You have high standards. You know what winning looks like. You know what losing looks like. And 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 you don't want to be BS. And I think a lot of the media right now isn't necessarily BSing, but they're a little late to realize what's going on with Kyle, how bad he's doing, and how his fans feel about him. Fans are pissed. Kyle's being his coached really poorly. And um, he's not getting the scrutiny from the, the journalists that he probably needs. That's going to be getting soon. It's coming. I think maybe the fans are, I don't understand why journalists are so nice to him. Why? What is it about him? Are you scared of him? Do you like him? What's the deal? He's very weak right now. And he has very little support among his own fan base. So open season, go for it. Brian Baldinger is going for it. He, he you know, Brian Baldinger is, is basically his job is to make friends with every team. And he went out and did a little uh, film breakdown of Trey Lance and basically said, Kyle, like, I can't evaluate this guy. What, what? This is this offense is so bad. I can't evaluate your what is this? All I know, man. All I know is that oh, when the NFL network turns on the 49ers coaches, that means there's a green light coming from somewhere. I don't know where though. Even if we get to the playoffs, our first pick is around 55. All cornerbacks here are bargain bin. We need a first. Yep. Trade Kyle. Trade him. Yeah, and the more the Niners lose, the better that is for the Miami Dolphins because they have the Niners picks. Oh, God. Man, that's just terrible. Uh, all right, um, that's the show. I'll be back later with Jack doing film, and I think I'm going to be doing uh, Tuesdays with Vish today. If not, it'll be Wednesdays with Vish. Vish will be here soon. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and um, let's hope Jed York watched too.